Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Pokemon Stadium 2 Round 2, where in our last episode, we started PokeCup Ultra Ball Round 2 with the first three battles. Today, we're going to do battles 4 through 6 right now. It's going to be with uh, Red's Pokemon Crystal Clear team. Super Nerd Clifford. Oh, he's got a Doug Trio. Oh, gosh. This is going to be fun. Okay, Magneton and Porygon 2 at level 55. And of course, per stadium rules, everybody else has to be at level 50. Um, so we will only either be seeing Porygon 2 or Magneton um, if Clifford decides to send those out. Um, but for right now, I'm going to open with next level just in case he opens with Dugtrio. Uh, I'm going to put in Tundra Pig in case he puts in Magneton or Lantern. And I think we'll round the team off with Hot Lava in case they have Fortress. Ooh. I don't want to see no rough stuff. All right, I'm going to switch to Hot Lava in case he explodes, for sure. See what he's going to do. Ooh, Giga Drain. That was a great switch. And just in case he switches for Dugtrio, we can at least burn that up with Flamethrower as well. Ooh, he's going to stay in with Fortress. Perfect. Ooh. Fortress is going down. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Okay, Dugtrio, speak of the devil. Um... If I put in next level right now, we'll be two turns behind, so I'm going to keep Hot Lava in. And we're going to go for Flamethrower. Okay, Earthquake. Hang on. earthquake. It's super okay. Well, that was the only thing I had brought Hot Lava in for anyways. I'd much rather have this happen than, like I said, for next level to be two turns behind. So now we can one-shot it with Surf, pretty much, and unless it's got a focus ban. Ooh, Mud Slap, that's smart. After killing me with a big move, he's gonna score with a small one. And try to make me miss. But I don't miss, I connect with Surf, and Dugtrio's going down. All right, who's the last one gonna be? I hope it's Magneton. Ooh, Raticate. Don't do anything mean to Raticate. All right, let's go for Ice Beam. All right, Toxic, he's gonna try to Toxic stall me. Ooh, he missed. Come on, next level. Oh, we both miss. Because of that stupid Mud Slap. Alright, I'm going to switch to Tundra Pig. That's missing Ice Beam. That pretty much stopped our momentum flat. We can at least let Tundra Pig get hit by Toxic. I'm worried about Protect or Detect. I'm going to go for Earthquake in case he's got Dig. Ooh, we get the Quick Claw going. That's great. Nice. That'll be a two-shot. Iron Tail. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, return. Nope, we're going to get hit by Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang. Yes, it's a hit. 
we got super effective critical hit by Iron Tail turn one and then knocked out by Hyper Fang turn two. I am supremely confident we can pull this out. Alright, I'm gonna go Ice Beam. Hyper Fang can flinch, so we gotta watch out for that. Ah, but we don't flinch. We're gonna barely pull this one out with a narrow victory in Battle 4. That was a good match right there. Definitely hard fought. And I'd expect nothing less at this stage of the, of the game here. Alright, we get the Fog Badge. We still have our only continue. We're going to continue with, with Battle 5. We're halfway through Poke Cup Ultra Ball. I'll show you how grown-ups battle. Ooh, Beauty Alyssa. She's got a Flareon, a Nidoqueen. She's got a good-looking team. Um, so once again, I like next level. Um, I think I'm going to put in Haunted, just in case they put in either Politoed or Nidoqueen. And... I think I'm going to put in Hot Lava for Vileplume and Jump Bluff. Alright, let's go. Ooh, Nitto Queen. All right, Surf. All right, she's gonna hit us with a hard hidden earthquake. Yeah, it did right around eighty. Still in pretty good shape though. Still in the green. Ooh, Berry Juice. Okay, yeah, we can finish it off with Ice Beam. As long as we don't get critically hit, we'll be fine. Oh, of course, of course we get critically hit. I still think we can beat it with Hot Lava though, or we can beat it with Haunted. I think Haunted would be too slow, so I'm gonna put in Hot Lava for this one. Now both Pokemon are going to have Psychic, I just trust Hot Lava's speed a little bit more. Yes, we are faster. And Nitto Queen's going to go down. I hope the last two are Vileplume and Jump Left, that would be great. So we'll see. Ooh, Politoed. Oh goodness, we have Thunder Punch. And uh, Miss Drevis has Thunderbolt. Um, I think I'm going to switch to Haunted. I did bring Haunted in for Polito because it does know Thunderbolt, as well as Confuse Ray. Which we could use for safety. I'll go with my favorite move. Oh, I have no idea what she was trying to do there. But let's go for Confuse Ray. We are faster, so that's great. Surf. Oh, we can survive two more rounds of Surf. We got leftovers. This is going to be another tight match we got on our hands here. Nice. 0 for 2. One more is going to knock us out, even with leftovers applied at the end of turn 2. 
we can at least give Magmar some help and we can lay it out with Thunder Punch. Ouch. No longer confused. We're going to get knocked out. Ooh, this is going to be a tight race. This is going to be a tight race. But this is good. It keeps the battles interesting, at least in my opinion they do. And I'm having a blast so far. So that's really the most important thing. Let's go for Thunder Punch. And see if we can lay out Poly Toad from 51 HP. Which we do. Okay. We'll definitely take that. Ooh, let it be Vile Plume or Jump Bluff. Wigglytuff. Ugh. That's going to be tough. No pun intended. I'm going to go Confuse Ray. Wigglytuff's pretty slow. So at least we'll have a speed advantage for right now. Unless it's got a body slam or something. Ooh, sweet kiss. If we get hit, we're going to get confused. So now both of us are confused. Wow, I was not expecting that. Alright, we do land our flamethrower. Let's get a burn or a crit. Ooh, that did 100. Ugh, crap. After one turn. That'll be a two shot. Yes, we get the confuse ray off. Ah, oh, crap. We're going to lose this. Ah. Man, we got no confusion left. And the Pokemon I wanted to show did not show. Really, what lost us the match was us getting critically hit by by uh, Earthquake from Nidoqueen. Now we got to sacrifice our only continue. Ooh, jump love. And both of us are females, so that'll take away her attract strategy, at least for right now. But we're gonna get Leech Seed because we're slower. Leech Seed is brutal in this game. This part flying, so electric attacks will do. Uh, neutral damage. Um, so here we can switch to Batgirl. Because we'll at least double resist any grass attacks. Other than Leech Seed, of course. As long as we don't get put to sleep or... Okay, Giga Drain, that's fine. Okay, we're going to go up into the air. And hopefully they'll stay in. Yep, Leech Seed is going to come up empty since we are in the air. Yes. That'll be a two shot with Fly. And it's fully paralyzed. Beautiful. Alright, let's go back into the air again. Ooh. Still fully paralyzed. She could still switch on this turn if she wants to, but she's gonna stay in. Fly can miss. Yes! It connects and jump left is gone. Much better start than the previous two attempts. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. 
All right, who's the next one? Politoed. And it's male, so we can get attracted. Uh, let's go for Confuser. Uh, let's go Quick Claw. All right, we're still able to confuse it, however. All three of these are females. Ah, oh, that sucks. We're going up against male Pokemon with a trap. Okay. Yes, finally, one of these Pokemon attacks themselves. Okay, we're gonna follow up with Thunderbolt. That little bit of damage it did to itself might make the difference. Oh, it does get paralyzed. Oh, nice, now we're getting the life that we need. All right, one more Thunderbolt. Gonna do the job. Oh! Quick Claw kicked in, but it attacked itself again. Third time in a row. Polytoad's gonna go down without landing any damage on Shocking whatsoever. Excellent. It's a nice little tag team between Batgirl and Shocking right there. To get the knockout on Polytoad. Third Pokemon's gonna be Flareon. And we do have Surf. So let's go for Surf. Flareon's gonna try to attack to attract me, I should say. Ew, not as much as I had hoped. Okay, next level. If all goes well, we could get our continue back out of this as well. Just like we did the swimmer in the last episode. I probably should have paralyzed it, actually. Ooh, Fire Blast. We'll take it. Definitely take that. Alright, Surf. If we can land just one Surf, it'll be over. Okay, Shadow Ball. Nice. Thankfully, we don't get attracted and we don't get critically hit by Shadow Ball. Nice, next level's gonna win her rematch with Flareon. We're gonna get a, our continue back, most importantly. Man, this is awesome. Awesome. Just like the swimmer in the last episode. Took us three tries to beat and we get our continue back on the last try. Amazing. And next level wins its evolution rematch against Flareon. For the Storm Badge, we're going to get our continue back. And we will be moving on to Battle 6. Ah, oh, the Burglar. Ooh, Burglar's got a Moltres. Ooh. Ooh, look at that color on Moltres. Moltres and Murkrow, both at level 53. I think Shocking would be a great opener. It's super effective against 4 out of 6. Um, hot Lava we can use against Pinsir and Persian. And I'm thinking... We can use Next Level for added support as well. That Moltres is going to be dangerous, so. I'm sure. Oh, he opens with Pinsir. Okie dokie, uh, Thunder Wave. Hopefully it doesn't have a berry to cure paralysis. Oh my, that's nice. He's going to steal our magnet. be completely useless for it. Alright, Hot Lava. Here comes a 
So we got our magnet stolen, so with that comes the extra power of magnet also taken away from us. Ooh, frustration. Wow, that's a pretty good in indicator of how much it hates its trainer. He's going to switch probably to Moltres. Probably going to switch to Moltres if he's got it. Yep. Man, that's awesome, though. We get to see a legendary Pokemon at work here. Alright, I'm, I'm definitely switching to next level. Problem with shocking is that electric does not resist fire blast. But water does. So we gotta be ready for that. Ooh, reflect. I'll take it. We'll get that first turn for free. The problem is we're slow. So we're gonna be two turns behind. He's gonna go in the air. No, he's gonna go for sky attack. Wow, I thought he was going to go into the air for fly. But he's going for sky attack. Oh! Are we going to be able to knock out with Reflect Up? I think because Moltres is out on the field, it's causing the game to lag a little bit. I'm going to switch to Shocking. That's what happens when you're a legendary. You make the game lag. <laughs> it's awesome. Ooh. That still almost knocked us out. Do I go for quick attack? And risk it hanging on with the flat? Or do I go for Thunderbolt? And risk being outsped? Let's go for Thunderbolt. Oh, he's going to power up for quick attack. Okay, we're good. We're good. Nice. Oh, it, it had Focus Band. Oh, this mofo had Focus Band. All right, let's go for quick attack. Yes, perfect. Yeah, I definitely wanted next level out of the way of, of Sky Attack. Um, so having Shocking take the bullet on that was the right decision. Steelix is in here now. And Reflect is gone. Um, I'm going to switch to next level. We still have two Pokemon left to beat. Ooh, Sandstorm. Okay. Sandstorm turn one. That's better. Because I thought it was going to go Earthquake. Alright, let's go, sir. And we are faster. Yeah, Steelix is slow as molasses. Yes, we get the one shot on Steelix. Yeah, we're going to take little chips of damage from Sandstorm for a while before it dies down. And Pincer's back. Oh. He screwed himself on that one because Pincer's bug type. So it's also going to get hit by Sandstorm as well. And it's paralyzed. Nice. One more is going to take it out. Even with our Mystic Water. Oh yeah, he's ar he already stole our Magnet. So him using Thief is not really going to help him out a whole lot. And that's why we didn't get our Mystic Water stolen. Yep, that's it. We're going to get our second straight continue. Oh man. Oh baby. We're getting close to the finals. All right, here we go. All right, also a first try victory <laughs> at the end of that as well.
Wow, pretty impressive all around. The last couple episodes, um, pretty much playing out identically, where we get a victory on the first match on the first try. We have to do the middle match three times, but we do get our continue back on the last attempt, and then we do the last battle and complete that on the first try as well. We end with two continues, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode of Pokemon Stadium 2 Round 2. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more episodes. You can also follow me on Facebook at Zoria Gaming for live streams. Not to mention, the playlist link for this playthrough will be in the description down below, so be sure to check that out as well. Until next time, guys, you all take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.